evening or whatever the hell it happens to be, ladies and gentlemen. Late night streaming once again. Let's turn up the volume. There we go. Much, much better. I gotta say, I've been enjoying Ladder a hell of a lot lately. So, shockingly enough, I I'm actually looking forward to going on to Ladder. I know a lot of people don't really have that attitude with StarCraft 2, and I think that's a bit of a shame. It's not all more thrilling than a good old 1v1, where the only person you're reliant upon is yourself. It's really cool. And I'm digging that more and more, I think. Maybe it's just as I grow older, which is weird, because I think it's going the opposite of the way that it does for a lot of people, where the older they get, they're wanting a more kind of casual team experience. For me, it's like, back then, I wouldn't do 1v1. I want a team, 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 always team, always team. And now... I just want, I want 1v1, I want competitive, I want like, one person versus another. I want to just go at one guy and know, look, the reason I beat you is because I'm better than you. Or the reason he beat me is because he's better than me. And I've no one else to blame. I think that's kind of refreshing, you know? Really? It is. I think it really, really is. Not enough minerals. Not enough that's what StarCraft is for me right now. Let's play some StarCraft. Heavy rain. This is... Well, not particularly heavy. I think it's a bit of a misnomer. It's light drizzle. But honestly, I don't think light drizzle tournament edition would really go to go down too well in the WCS map pool. Alright. So we're doing TBT. So we're going to go with a pretty standard TBT build, which is to go Banshee into an expansion. The hope, of course, being to do some damage. It also means if he's going Banshee and we're able to scout it with a Reaper, which is how we'll open. We're not going to go super fast Banshee or anything. We will go to Banshee, but it'll be a little bit later. We'll scout with the Reaper, and if we see he's also going Banshee, that Starport then builds a Viking and shuts down the Banshee. So it's pretty safe, shockingly enough. It sounds aggressive, but it's actually quite safe. At least at this level, at any rate. High level, maybe not, but at this level, it works really well. Actually, a pretty good way of doing TBT, in my opinion. So you open a pretty standard, and you just delay your expansion until you can get your factory and your starport down. You may be able to build it while you're doing your factory, because usually you get a, enough minerals maybe halfway through your factory building to say, okay, I can throw down that expansion, and instead of doing the one barracks reactor into expansion. So I think it's a pretty cool build. It, it's worked for me, at low level anyway. Can't speak to its pro viability, ever, but whatever works. I can't even remember if I... I oh, I GLH chef him twice, and he ignored me both times. All right, we're going to murder this fucker. And this is the music we're going to do it to. Bit of Parappa the Rapper, I think? Sounds like it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's getting cranked up. I'm sorry. We got to put it out
was pretty good. You can go through now. Okay, gotta move on. Well, this was a bit of a shock. I didn't expect this. Alright, we need a starport actually to go Banshee right here. I'm trying to stabilize out of this, which is a little difficult. I should have known after he didn't reply to two GLHFs that he was going to be a horribly cheesy bastard. Didn't see it coming, though, somehow. Alright, get the third Marine out. So he's done some damage, he's pulled back. We delayed a lot of his stuff, but he a lot of, delayed a lot of mine too, so... It's kind of hard to know who's ahead at this stage. Probably him. He did really good damage. So, alright. Widow Mine's out. Okay, we're gonna go straight to Starport. I'm gonna try and hit him with a Banshee, because his tech was super delayed. I even managed to delay something at home, but I'm not quite sure what. Alright, Marines are out. Let's try and expand. This suddenly got super serious. As this guy's like, oh, look at my cheese. Like, you what? You are gonna do what to me? That was unexpected. Alright, we've got supply. Go straight for Banshee. See how much damage we can do. Jeez, that was that was a bit intense. I say I did not expect that response. Like a marauder rush? Haven't seen that in a long time. That was unexpected, but pretty neat from him. As I said, I didn't expect it. It did a good job. It killed a lot of my stuff. I pumped out Widow Mines to counter it, but it took too long. I lost a lot of SCVs. I killed some of his, and I definitely delayed some mining times with my Reaper, but nowhere near as many as he killed. So I'm kind of reliant on trying to get my Expo up and backstabbing him with a Banshee to get back into this game. And if I don't, cool. Never mind. You know, he, he did a good job. I didn't expect that. I'm not, I'm not sure where his other barracks was, I've got to say. Because I know I delayed one of them. But I don't know where his other one was. Okay, I also don't know what his second build's going to be. I'm going to throw it on engineering base. He may do the same thing to me. I want to spread these out a bit. So just in case he scans against them. Alright, Banshee's on the way. We are building. We need to get a tank out, I think. We also need to mine gas. We need a lot of things. We're lacking in many, many things right now. Okay, cool. Alright, Banshee, I'm relying on you not to suck. Sweet, he has no defense. Cool, let's backstab the hell out of him. Unfortunately, I don't have Cloak, but I'm going to be able to delay his mining significantly. Do good damage, I think. Let SCV can go down. Let's get Stim. Second Banshee is currently on the way. We're doing huge amounts of damage. There's a tank there. I preferably want to try and kill that. Alright, let's get the second Banshee in. Hello, tank. Alright, he's got marines, but I do have a second Banshee. So I can easily out-micro that. I'm also not building enough stuff. Alright, so he's gone to his expansion. Snipe from here. Kill his units off. I don't actually know if there's anything in there. There isn't. Okay. Build extra supply depots, extra barracks. Control this a little better. Okay, yeah, he's losing all of his stuff, so... This Banshee backstab has worked pretty well. Kill all of his economy off. We've got stuff of our own building. We definitely need that tank. I think we just lost one Banshee. Yep, we did. Okay. Alright, well, I can out-control him for the most part. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, ah, nice. Kill more of his SCVs off. Alright, his economy is essentially non-existent at this point. Okay. GG. Hey. So much for your marauder, marauder trees. Alright, I want to see when that, where those barracks were and when he started pumping marauders. Because that was a little crazy. That caught me off guard. Alright, let's watch the replay. Alright. 
Contempt indeed. No reply to GLHF. Was it Proxy? It was. It was Proxy Marauder. So much for your cheese. So yeah, he goes Proxy Marauder. I don't see it, obviously. My Reaper wouldn't have scouted it. I kind of I had a feeling something was going down, but it didn't matter because my front door was being attacked by the time my Reaper got there, so it didn't really matter. And yes, a Marauder does beat, I think, two Marines? Yeah. So that was pretty awkward. But he actually lost quite a lot, I think, in the process. I eventually lost my Reaper, but I killed a couple of workers. I delayed his mining a lot. I actually had more workers than him, but then I lost a bunch to this. With my own Widow Mine, actually. Did a surround. Oh, I was down to 11 SCVs by that point. Jeez. I lost another Supply Depot as well, so I eventually threw it back, but... Yeah, and then he went pure barracks and didn't defend against that. Sweet! Well, so much for your cheese. You know, I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I'm streaming right now is because I saw a shit post on r slash StarCraft that was like, LOL, StarCraft, only 2,000 viewers. I'm like, fuck that guy. Let's do another one. I'm pretty sure there's hotkeys for volume on Winamp, so I really shouldn't actually have to alt-tab. I'm going to learn those hotkeys. That'll make my streaming life a lot easier. I haven't played a Protoss in a while. This is going to be fun, actually. I've been playing nothing but Terran and Zerg. My current TVT win rate, I think, is about 92% at this stage. My TVZ is about 73, and my versus Protoss is actually 100, but I've only played two, so that doesn't really count. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I like fighting Protoss, actually. I know, a lot of people don't, but I, I quite like it. I find Protoss to be reasonably easy to deal with. Mostly because I just don't go for the early game aggression. I'll sit around happily on two or three bases, build my stuff, and then wait for an opportunity to attack. Gotcha. Try to hit him before Major Tech goes in, you know. It works pretty well. I also like Widow Mind Drops, which are hilarious, and Protoss hate them. Does it say I'm still playing Metal Gear? Hang on a second. That was print screen. Let's try pause. Game I want to double check that it, it's not saying that I'm playing Metal Gear. I hate that with Twitch. Like, it does a really piss poor job of updating its list. No, no, it doesn't say that. You just need to refresh the page. Yeah, I'm set for Heart of the Swarm. It's fine. Alright, I'm ready to go. I'm just going to make sure this guy is here. Okay. Three, two, one. Unpause. There we go. He's a nice dude. I like him. I like him better than Mr. Marauder Cheese. A man who proxies a marauder is not a man that you should trust in your home. I'll tell you that for a fact. I'm going to open up Reaper the same way I usually do. It doesn't do a huge amount against Protoss, considering the stalker comes out relatively quickly. But... It gets scouting information. That's the only reason I build the Reaper. Gives me a feeling of what's going on. Yeah, by the way, if you haven't downloaded Better TTV yet, Google Better TTV and download that thing, because, ooh, that's a really early scout. I'm a little concerned about how early that scout is. I want to keep an eye on him. 
I don't like that. That is... I don't know, I mean, it is a small map, so maybe that's it, but that's a pretty quick scout. We'll see. He didn't manage to place a pylon anywhere, so I guess that's fine. He's not... I mean, not the cannon rushing at Terra never works, but... Oh yeah, back to the point. Get If you get an add-on called Better TTB, it actually is a fucking lifesaver. I discovered it quite recently, and I wish I discovered it sooner. It's incredible. One of the cool things it does is if you enable desktop notifications, it tells you when streams you follow go live. And it even tells you what game they're playing, which is fantastic. Really handy, especially since I stream at kind of random times, so... Yeah, I would strongly recommend it. Alright, I'd love to find out where the probe went. It was probably just a regular scout, but I'm still a little suspicious. We're gonna go for factory, expand into Widowmine Drop, and then we'll play normally. Go. I'll put down the factory. Obviously, this will be useful. We'll, we'll do that after the reactor. Obviously, this will be useful for the Widow Mines, so it's to be expected. I need to make sure to expand at the right time, otherwise, I will get supply blocked. I'm going to do the expansion now, and then we'll put the factory down just after that as we get to 100 gas. There we go. Sweet. That works pretty well. All right, let's see what he's got. He is building photon cannons. That's really odd. And completely worthless, because I can do that. I'm not really sure what his plan is here. Alright. Cool, I've gone to pull a bunch of probes, that's nice. Usually I wouldn't control this, but I'm messing with him big time. I'm not really sure why he's building those. Alright, well... <laughs> usually, I, again, usually I wouldn't micro this, because I'd be wasting time, but... I'm out microing these probes quite well and wasting a metric ton of his mining time, so it's completely worth it. What on earth is he doing? Why did he put cannons there? I'm not going to let him mine. No way. Let's build some stuff in the meantime. We can do the swap over here. Let's... Hell. I'm going for tech lab. I'm going to build a tank. I'm going to build something. This is about to be built. Jeez, I've killed so many of his probes. This is just nuts. This is one Reaper, for God's sake. I shouldn't be able to do this. My micro's terrible. But this whole I'm gonna rush forge and build cannons near my main base, which does nothing, is not working out for him. So I, if I can force him to build more cannons, this will be amazing. Unfortunately, I'm having to use pretty much all of my APM, which is not a lot. Oh, I got surrounded. No, I didn't. <laughs> he, he thinks he can outsmart me. I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> juked. Still juked. This is silly. Come on. You've got to have a unit. Build a unit. Why don't you have one? All right. Oh, damn. All right. The Reaper's reign of terror has finally ended. That was just silly. Oh, he actually did cannon me. Okay. So, my grand plan is to not die to that and place it here instead. Build one tank and then break all of his cannons. So, I, I'm i not really convinced by his strategy. Alright, now let's build about 50 racks and kill him. He might go DTs after this, so uh, I need to get detection. We have a tank! Guess what kills cannons pretty well? Yup! A tank! There we go. I wonder how much damage I did. I've got to look after this game. I want to see, because I've never done that much damage with a Reaper. That's just silly. That should never have happened in a million years. Alright, it's one down. Let's see if there's any others. Pile on over there. Okay. Move the tank out, get another tank. Add all this shit. There we go. Just in case he does DTs. And he might. So. Oh, uh, what is this anime bullshit? And why is it on my playlist? Hard to say. Well, this is going relatively well. I'm not convinced by this strategy. I think that it's something he probably should not use in the future. 
because it doesn't do anything. Waste so much mining time. We're even going to get a massive number of free pylons here as well. Oh, there's a cannon there. Great. Well, that's not going to help them too much. It's the tank meta. We're bringing it back. Yeah, there you go. I need a lot of supply depots because I'm about to rush everything I've got and slam this guy into the ground. At least that's the plan anyway. But never underestimate Protoss. No matter how ridiculous their build might be. That's a lot of pylons he wasted for no apparent reason. All right. Still on the way. I think I'm probably just got enough units to kill him at this point. Yeah, three tanks and a bazillion marines are probably enough even without stim. So I think we're just going to kill him. I, I can't see him actually having enough damage to do anything at this point. I'm going to keep one scan just in case he goes DT, but aside from that, I think he's probably dead. Okay, we've got one scan. Yeah, let's... Yeah, three tanks and a bunch of marines are probably enough to just murder him now. He took way too much damage, even with... And as we saw earlier, cannons don't help you against tanks. Yeah, this is probably not going to go well for him, I think. Redeploy. Roll the tanks forward. Blow up what he's got. Cannons down. Count the production. Oh, probes. That, that was a very kind donation. A fruit basket for the new guy. Well, tanks are pretty good. the charge of the light brigade <laughs> yeah that, that is not gonna do the job I'm afraid nope sorry let's kill that forge it's interesting that it does unranked against ranked players but I guess it does I mean I guess we would have to really so much for tanks and so much for cannons Tanks are pretty good when they only have zealots, it turns out. Who knew? 